body as if you didn't know. Sweet mother of God, you're even more depraved than I thought. Decapitating a corpse to conceal evidence is taking us right out of the insanity arena and right into uh, premeditated territory. Shut up, fat boy! Shut up, all of you! How dare you accuse me of doing something so disgusting! Look, Natalia, it's no secret that you are headed for a nervous breakdown. Everyone in this room has seen you lose it. I still have the bruises on my neck to prove it! And I still have that tasteless, insanely inappropriate doll you gave me. I'll bet you do. Look, Natalia, whatever possessed you, to kill Dad and push his car over Miller's Ridge is going to push you over the edge if you don't confess. Dimitri's right. If you confess, I can go to the DA and uh, beg for leniency. Of course, uh, once you tell us where your father's head is. You're going to be missing yours if you don't get the hell out of here right now. It's okay. I'll handle it. How could you set me up like that? Because I know you did it. And I know why. Look, in your mind, I'm sure it felt totally justified. It must have been terrible keeping something like this secret for 16 years. Dad didn't want the truth to come out, and neither did you, but you can't keep something like this hidden forever. What is it that you think I'm keeping hidden? For one. Your visit with Dad to Mr. Whitmore is the night before Ivan's wedding. Mm. He just wanted to thank Dad for springing for the whole thing. That's bull. He wanted to come clean. He wanted to tell the world the secret that he was forced by Boris Carlyle to keep all these years. The secret about Sasha. Come on, Jerish. You want to tell me something, right? Well, I've really enjoyed the time we spent together lately. And I was so shy when we first met, and I never would have known how much I enjoyed singing if it wasn't for you. Trust me, someday, you'll have enough courage to get on stage by yourself. I don't know about that. But I do enjoy backing you up. You shouldn't feel so scared of performing alone. You have the talent. Maybe someday. Look, Sasha, when I heard about what happened to you, it kind of got me thinking, you know, about how short life is and how I'm always afraid to tell people how I'm feeling. And I don't want to be that way anymore. Cherish, I'm not dying. I know, it's just... Recording that demo meant so much to me, and I'll never forget how you saved me from Alex. Okay, you're welcome. You don't have to say all this, you know. I know. There is one thing I really do have to say. I love you. Look, I appreciate the offer, but I wouldn't ask you for money. That's not my style. I'm always taking care of myself, you know? Of course. I know how you are. I just want you to realize you never have to worry, that's all. Thanks. And thanks for sticking up for me at work. You're an asset at Spider Games. Dimitri and I both agree. And I know we can easily overrule Natalia. I don't know. She is a super bitch. <laughs> She's Satan. She could turn any guy off women for good. I don't know about any guy, but she really, she really messed me up. But it worked out for the best, though. Yeah. You know, I still don't know what the hell she wanted from me. To control you, but she couldn't. We both realize you can only deny who you really are for so long. And I'm really glad I got to know the real you. <laughs> I haven't uh, started to freak me out a little, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be afraid. Don't tell each other how we feel. That's the hardest part. <laughs> how we feel. I know it's new and different for you, too. But I can help you make this transition, Francisco. 
we can help each other through this. I'm just glad my first gay experience is gonna be with you. I mean, you're gay? Whitmore asked you and Dad to come over that night because he wanted to tell the truth, but you and Dad talked him out of it. You know what Whitmore's last words were? Tell Natalia I'm sorry. Sorry? He's 16 years too late. Dad never forgave Whitmore. That's why he forced him to sell him the company. And you never forgave him either. I never will. Natalia, I can't imagine what you've been through. Be 13 years old, having to carry that horrible secret around. Have your childhood stolen from you, and no wonder you hated Dad. Wait, are you, are you saying that you understand what I was going through? I'm beginning to. Natalia, you, you went through hell. And you couldn't take your anger out on Whitmore, <laughs> so you channeled it to Dad. And, you know, Dad never did anything to stop it. He let that sick bastard do whatever he wanted. No! Dad was wrong to blame you. It wasn't your fault. I know, but he blamed me. He told me that it was me. He told me it was my fault. How could it be? You were just a kid. He never wanted me around after that. Of course not. This is a big embarrassment to the great Boris Carlisle. That's why he sent me to, to Parkland Sanitarium. He wanted me out of Fort Kent. He wanted me away from Sasha. No, no, you're just like Boris. You want to take Sasha away from me again. Tell you. Yep, no, you are just like him. You're just like Boris. No. Come on, Natalia. Dimitri's my son. You don't really think he'd be on your side, do you? Please, please, please don't take him away from me. You have to pay for what you did. All I did was love my son. Your son? Sasha is your son? Today's episode featured music by Debola Morgan from the album Dance With Me.